Excel tutorial Arbitrage Pricing Theory Model Asset pricing models consist of estimating asset expected return through its risk premium linear relationship with factors portfolios expected risk premiums and macroeconomic factors. This topic is part of investment portfolio analysis with Excel Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking the link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read the full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Arbitrage pricing theory, or APT, consists of estimating asset expected return through its risk premium linear relationship with market risk premium and macroeconomic factors starting from asset expected excess return. For full reference, I recommend that you read Stephen Ross, The Arbitrage Theory of Capital Asset Pricing, published in the Journal of Economic Theory in 1976. As a formula, the expected asset return through the arbitrage pricing theory is equal to a risk-free rate of return plus a beta-1 coefficient multiplied by the market risk premium, which is the difference between the expected market return minus the risk-free rate of return plus a beta-2 coefficient multiplied by the macroeconomic factor. In this case, this macroeconomic factor was only included for educational purposes, therefore it's not fixed and can be modified according to your needs. And it corresponds to the expected change in CPI. CPI is the consumer price index, therefore when the change is positive it's considered as inflation, when negative deflation. Plus alpha, which is the asset expected excess return through the arbitrage pricing theory. Great, so let's go into the Excel file so that we can study arbitrage pricing theory with greater detail. Excellent. So here we are within APT or Arbitrage Pricing Theory Multiple Factors Models Excel file. So we'll begin working within the orange colored APT data worksheet. Within it we have four columns of data. Dates, SPY-RF, MKT-RF and CPI. Notice that this data has a monthly frequency. From the beginning of 2007 and we select A6 and press Control down arrow all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 10 years of data or 120 observations for each of this time series. So again, we press Ctrl up arrow, down arrow to go into the beginning of the time series. Then we have SPY minus RF. That corresponds to the asset risk premium and it's the difference between SPY monthly returns minus the corresponding month risk free rate of return. This monthly return is calculated with the arithmetic formula. SPY corresponds to the ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index. Then we have MKT minus RF, that's the market risk premium, and it's the difference between the market portfolio's monthly arithmetic return minus the corresponding month risk-free rate of return. And last we have CPI, which corresponds to the monthly rate of return or rate of change of CPI, which is the consumer price index, Therefore, as mentioned previously, when positive, it's considered as inflation, when negative, as deflation. So now we're going to continue into the orange colored APT multiple regression worksheet. Notice that this corresponding multiple regression was calculated before recording this video tutorial. It was done by using, and here within the data tab, we have within Analyze, Data Analysis Tool Pack, and its regression feature. So going into APT multiple regression, orange color worksheet, within it we have the corresponding summary output for that corresponding regression and also been formatted before recording this video tutorial. So we are going to scroll down and specifically we're going to focus on this coefficients which as mentioned have been formatted and highlighted. The first of this is the intercept. That corresponds to the alpha or the asset expected excess return on top of its exposure to the market risk premium and the macroeconomic factor. Then we have the second coefficient, 
the one with mkt minus rf, that's the corresponding beta 1 coefficient within the slides, and that corresponds to the linear relationship between the asset risk premium and the market risk premium. And the last coefficient we have here is the one with that CPI title, and that corresponds to beta 2 within the slides, and that describes the linear relationship between the asset risk premium and the monthly rate of change of that corresponding CPI, as mentioned previously, when positive considered as inflation, when negative as deflation. Notice that this macroeconomic factor, as mentioned also previously, was only included as an educational example, therefore it's not fixed and can be modified according to your needs. Excellent. So now that we've finished studying arbitrage pricing theory, multiple factors model calculation, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of training or investment advice. Please, pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.